Hello everyone, this is my review of Bones and All. I have Timothy Chalamet, Taylor Russell, Mark Rylance, and Luca Dog Magnino. This movie is a horror romance movie. It's about cannibalism. And what's interesting about this movie is that it does not focus on just the cannibalism, but it focuses on how they're supposed to live with their cannibalism, with their condition, and trying to live a normal life and having a romance in a perilous world. I thought this movie was beautiful. I thought the transitions in this movie were beautiful. I thought that Considering this is a movie based on cannibalism, I thought it was going to be way worse, but it was actually mild-tempered. But it really focused on how to navigate with this bias, with this feeding of this hunger. And also what was significant in the line in the movie was, we don't have to be like that, it's a choice by Timothy Chalamet. And also I love the transitions between scenes. I love the very fact that she reads a letter from her mother and realizes that her mother did not want her to live within this world. And also I love the scenes where they're by the campfire and the other people are telling stories about how they have to feed and how they really eat people whole. But this movie is not just about that, but this movie is about our own vices, what we're feeding our spirit, what we're attuning ourselves towards. So I think that this movie is very significant in the very fact that there are great performances. Taylor Russell and Timothy Chalamet really look like they love each other. I think Mark Rylance is so creepy, is so weird, is so domesticated, and also the very fact that he is so consumed by Taylor Russell's character that it's kind of weird and creepy. But this movie's edgy, it really goes there. It really pushes an envelope and it really shows you uh, what we can do when we really lose ourselves and we really lose ourselves within the moment, within the moment of you know, wanting our vices, wanting to be fed. And another significant line in this movie, because I don't want to spoil it for you guys, is whatever we have, it has to be fed. So it's kind of like, you know, addictions, afflictions, vices, you know, things that we do all the time, like, you know, look at our phone all the time. So this movie isn't just about this heinous subject matter, but it's more about the very fact that all of us want to live within this world and what if we were the ones living with that condition and what's interesting is that you feel bad for these degenerate cannibals i mean timothy chalamet is the definition of a wet cigarette in this movie i mean he just looks really dorky i thought they made him look like they were homeless i really love the blue f like chevrolet in the in the movie as well and I don't know what it was about this movie. The ending is just emphatic. The ending is just crazy, excuse me, crazy and emphatic and just horrifying. I mean, it, it was just like at the end of the day, she had no other choice but to eat Timothy Chalamet. And it was just crazy because the guy, Mark Rylance, was attacking them in their own home. And it was like they were trying to live this beautiful life and things were great. And then the ending of it is like so insane. I mean, you just have to live through this experience. And I know I may have spoiled it for you guys, but it is an experience to be lived. I mean, I was just taken back by this movie, even though I do meditation and this isn't normally a movie that I would watch, but Spirit told me to watch it and I was kind of dreading it. I was like, oh, this is gonna be super terrible. And it actually wasn't, it was actually mild mannered. I mean, it was a mild-mannered horror movie, and I'm not really into that kind of stuff, never really was. Um, but this is an experience. I mean, to live it, to endure it, to be in the essence of it, to just watch it, it's a beautiful cinematic experience. I mean, it almost made me feel as if I was reading a novel. That's what this movie really stimulates within your senses is that, it really makes you feel as if you're looking inside of a novel. And I think that's what this movie does a great job of. And I think it's worth a watch. And if you um, really are turned off by blood and gore, there's really not a lot in it. You know, it's not so significant that it make you like shut it off. I mean, I was expecting actually a lot more because I was like, spirit was like, you gotta watch this movie, and I'm like, ah, I don't know if I want to, but I digress. But I think this movie is amazing. I think it's 
wonderful piece of art and I think the subject matter is beautiful and I think the romance of it is quite beautiful as well. Bones and all, this is my review of Bones and All.